Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you why you should stop using Gretel. So to start off, Gretel does not have the ability of allowing a user to edit the output. So I'll give you an example of that. If we generate a scatter plot of these two variables, press OK. We cannot further edit um, if we want to add a log variable, if you want to change a variable. So this is essentially a static result. And another problem is that uh, you only receive one output at a time. So there is no log of all of the processes you ran. And furthermore, after uh, you keep generating many outputs, you get a series of windows. So it's difficult to manage those windows. And I'll show you an example here. So if we run an OLS model here, we get yet another window. And let's just quickly run this. Another window. And then if we want to look at the data, display values, another window. And then if we want to look at the summary statistics, another window. And finally, if we want to generate a correlation matrix, we get yet another window. So this is a very messy way to uh, do your research. And there are many other options, for example, Jamovi. Here in Jamovi, we have a much simpler and more intuitive interface. So we can generate descriptives easily and then edit the descriptives as well. So you can remove variables and then you can view the results in one, one pane here, in the results pane, and we can view other, other results uh, just by scrolling down. We can also edit results simply by clicking on the result and then changing any of the covariates, or we could add other other coefficients, such as the confidence interval, and then it will automatically add that element to the result without you having to run another um, linear regression analysis. So these are the reasons why you should stop using Gretel and switch over to something more intuitive like Jamovi or other statistical software, such as SPSS. Thank you very much.